Hello, how to solve this cubic equation 2x cubed plus x squared minus 13x plus 6 is equals to 0. To find the values of x in this equation of standard form of a x cubed plus b x squared plus c x plus d is equals to 0. In the first step, or step 1, we are going to check if the value of x is equal to 1. So, from our equation, a plus b plus c plus d is equal to 0. If it is equal to 0, then x is equal to 1. Now, Coefficient of a is equals to 2 and coefficient of b here is equals to 1 and c is equals to negative 13 and d is equals to 6. So when we add 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 minus 13 is minus 10, minus 10 plus 6 is minus 4 which is not equals to 0. Therefore, x is not equals to 1. Now, in step 2, we are going to check if x is equals to negative 1. From our question, we will add coefficient of alternative terms if they are the same if they are not the same so x is not equal to negative one now from our question which is two two x cube plus x square minus 13 x plus six is equals to zero here our coefficient is for x cube is 2, coefficient for x square is 1, coefficient for x is negative 13, coefficient here is 6. Now when you add this alternative coefficient, 2 plus negative 13 is negative 11 and 1 plus 6 is 7. So this sum of this coefficient is not equal therefore x is not equals to 1 now next in step 3 we are going to use sin static division from this our question 2x power 3 plus x square minus 13x plus 6 is equals to 0. Now, here this is the product and this is the quotient. Now, the factors for our product which is 6. Factors of 6 is 1, 2, 3, and 6 itself. So here is plus or minus, plus or minus, plus or minus, plus or minus. And the factors for our quotient, which is 2, is 1 and 2 itself, plus or, my, or plus or minus. Then we take product divided by quotient. So when we divide 1, divided by 1 is 1 plus or minus 2 divided by 1 is 2 plus or minus 2 3 divided by 1 is 3 plus or minus 3 6 divided by 1 is 6 plus or minus 6 and 1 divided by 2 is a half plus or minus a half and 2 divided by 2 is 1 plus or minus 1 already here 3 divided by 2 is 
3 over 2 plus or minus 3 over 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 is already here. So, after we divide product and coefficient to get these values, we check one by one. We already check for post for positive one, which is not, and negative one is not. So this one already checked. Now we check for two. Now let's try for x is equals to two. Then Here we will use, we will use synthetic, synthetic division, whereas from our question, the coefficient is 2, coefficient is 2, 1, negative 13, and 6. So, when we try by synthetic division, we try by 2. Here, 2 times 2 is 4. So, we write here 4. So, here when we add 2 plus 0 is 2. This plus this is 5. Then, 2 times 5 is 10. When we add this plus this is negative 3. Then, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. This plus this is 0. So, now we can see 0 is the remainder. So, the fact that remainder is equals to 0, it means x is equals to 2 which is one of the values of x one of the solution x is equals to 2 now to find the other solutions from here these coefficients 2 is a coefficient of x square and 5 is a coefficient of x and this is a constant so after we divide, the quadratic equation will be 2x square plus 5x minus 3 is equals to 0. Now, from this quadratic equation, we are going to solve it by factorization to find the other values of x. Now, product here, coefficient of x square is 2. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And the sum is the coefficient of x, which is 5. Now, to get the product, which is negative 6, it means is the product of 6 and negative 1. So, 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. So, to find the sum, when we add here, is 5. So, the factors are 6 and negative 1. So, to get 5x, it means 6x minus x is equals to 5x so we substitute this into here 5x so in our equation it will be 2x square plus 6x minus x minus 3 is equals to 0 now here 2x is common 2 out of bracket this divided by this is x plus this divided by this is 3 and here common is negative 1. This divided by this is x. This divided by this is plus 3. Bracket is equals to 0. Now here you can see x plus 3 is common. x plus 3 is common. So x plus 3 bracket times this divided by this is 2x. This divided by this is minus 1. Bracket is equals to 0. Now to solve for the values of x from x plus 3 is equals to 0 and here 2x minus 1 is equals to 0 this we take to the other side so x is equals to negative 3 
So this is the other solution for x. And this we take to the other side, 2x is equal to 1. We divide by 2 in both sides. So x is equal to a half. This is the other solution for x. Now, therefore, x is equal to 2 from here. And x is equal to negative 3. And x is equal to a half. Now, from this, our solutions of values of x to check if our answers are correct. From our question 2x cubed plus x squared minus 13x plus 6 is equal to 0, the coefficients here are 2, here 1, and here coefficient is negative 13, and here coefficient is 6. Now, from these coefficients of our equation, in the standard form, here is A, here is B, here is C, and here is D. Now, to check from the sum of the answers for the values of X, which is 2 plus negative 3 plus a half, is it equals to negative b over a now here when we add 2 plus negative 3 is negative 1 negative 1 plus a half is negative a half is it equals to negative b so here it will be negative b is 1 over a is 2 so negative a half is equals to a half so it is true for the values of x. Now, next, we are going to draw a graph of this cubic equation, which pass at the points for the values of x. Now, here, this is x plane, this is y plane. x is 2, first value of x is 2, and another value of x is negative 3, and another value is a half. So, when we draw a graph, it will pass at these points. At 3, it will pass at a half, and it will pass at 2. So, here we'll join. These are the x-intercepts for the values of x. Now, this is how to draw a graph for this equation. Don't forget these steps to miss out. Subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.